So first we're gonna start with a 2D scene. We're gonna name that world and this is where we will be working. Let's add the kinematic body to D that we're gonna name our player. Then add an area to D. This will be our trap to help reset the level or kill the player each time. And another area to D which we're gonna name spawn that will respawn our player or work as a checkpoint. So for our player, we're gonna save that branch as a scene and open it again. Attach a script. Let's work with empty to finish with that. And then attach a sprite. Collision. Use our icon for the sprite. And our collision. Let's go for a rectangle. Design. And now for our code, we're just gonna have the basic top-down uh, movement. I'll be pasting this code again on the description if you want to copy it. And let's save that. And going back to our world, let's save this. And let's run the game, make this a main scene. Just to have movement. There we go, our player moves. Now we're gonna be working on our trap. Save branch to scene. Let's go. We're going to add the sprite again and a collision shape to D using the same sprite and turn all the visibility down to modulate to red. Again, collision shape and attach a script. So for this one, we need to go to our node properties and collect body entered. So when the player enters here, we can do what? We can reset our scene. So if the body that enters this area is named player, we get the tune in to reload the current scene. Save this, going back to our world. Save this, moving, whoops, moving the trap here, moving the player there and checking it out. There, it resets every time, okay? So now let's uh, design our spawn location. So for our spawn location, we first need to create a different node. We're gonna call that global. So we can handle where the player is spawned, okay? So we're gonna name that global. It's just gonna be a node, attach a script to that one. Very good. So for this one, we just need two things. We need a variable that's going to be storing our spawning point. For now, it's going to be on 0, 0. And a function that's going to update the spawning point basically by providing a new point each time. Okay? It is very important after we save this to go on our project, project settings. And on here, go to auto load to find the path of the global scene. Open it. And then very important to click add. And now this will save it again. And now this will work above everything else and now the important thing is to have our player on its code update its position from uh, this uh, from this global point that we have there okay so we have our spawn code when the game begins the player's position is going to equal the spawn point position okay so we save that we go to our world you can see here the player is a bit to the side but our global position is zero zero. Okay, so let's test that. You can see the player while placed on our editor here appeared on the position given from the global. Um, yeah. So now for the spawn location, we're just going to follow the same procedures we've done so far. Attach a uh, sprite. Attach a, oops, attach a collision shape, sprite, the icon, the color, the green, and the collision shape, rectangle. There we go, we save, we attach the script, and we collide. We connect, sorry. So what will happen now? Again, if the body that enters is named player, go to global, update spawn, and give the location of the spawning area. So going back here, 
Let's move the spawning down there and test. <clears throat> Again, so far the player moves, starts from there. We touch the spawning point and we reset the level and here's the player again. Okay, and that was it. So, have fun testing out your new knowledge and let me know how it goes. Just remember, don't overdo it. 